morning. You're very messy. Do you want to go on a walk right now? Right now? I'll take you. I will take you on a walk because I'm going to listen to a book. Do you want to go right now? <laughs> She's like freaking out. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Rachel. If you are new here, today is a fun one. We're doing a morning routine. I haven't filmed a morning routine since the summer when I was actually at the beach house with my parents. Um, so I live in Raleigh now and I'm in a new apartment so I figured this would be a good time to do a morning routine switch it up give you guys what you want I've been seeing a lot of requests for more routine types of videos so I thought I would just do a realistic updated fall I know it's like about to be winter kind of um, morning routine so I figured I would get a fall morning routine in before we switch fully over into winter but as you guys just saw I just kind of start my mornings off relaxing this morning um, I didn't have a workout class so I'm actually gonna go on a walk in a second with Winnie but I like to get the apartment together I cleaned the couch cushions last night so I had to restuff them uh, kind of just do like some moisturizer deodorant brush my teeth all of that I've been drinking a water and then I also just made a to-do list of the day and things that I want to get done today is a pretty chill day uh, so I am gonna take a long walk with Winnie just because I'm not going to a workout class today. I try to do some type of movement every single day as of recently. And normally I will go to SLT Pilates every night with my friend Amanda. We've been doing the 5.30 class or like every other night. So we went last night. So my body is a little bit tight and sore. So I think I'm going to do a long stretch on the yoga mat on the patio. Can you be quiet? Today's sponsor is Audible. I'm so excited to be working with them because... Actually, one of my 2020 goals, which I've completely let down, um, but it's never too late to start, um, is was to read more books. And I have more books and podcasts. In the podcast game, I really have stepped up. But when it comes to books, I feel like I either just don't have the attention span to actually sit there and read it unless it's like I'm super interested in it 
or I just like get bored of it. I don't, I don't know. I just feel like something about books, like sitting there with the actual book is just not for me. So Audible is a great option for me because I can listen to audiobooks on like my Alexa on my phone when I'm taking Winnie on walks. So I'm in the car, I drive a lot, so I can always listen to audiobooks then. They also offer podcasts. Like, literally it's great for everyone. I feel like everyone has a reason to use Audible. So I'm gonna talk more about them, like do a little voiceover when I'm on my walk with Winnie because she's freaking out to leave. Just wanted to thank them for sponsoring today's video. And I am actually starting a new book this morning by Ed Millette, his Max Out book. I've been wanting to listen or read it for forever but I figured listening to it would probably be even more beneficial for me because I probably will soak in the information more and I feel like it's just a great thing to do like when I'm at the apartment by myself and I'm sitting here editing or uh, cleaning up the house or like just making like little lists doing work whatever to have an audiobook going in the background or a podcast because honestly I just love to consume all I don't like to consume all types of content but important good content that I find beneficial for me like why not consume it at all times possible so there's a ton like they literally have everything on the um, audible app you just download the app and literally any book you could think of audible has it in an audiobook so I'm gonna start max out today I'm so excited and then once I get back from the walk I'll probably continue streaming it through my while I stretch on the patio so let's do it Winnie have to be your biggest fan and when things are really tough and they're really one of my main favorite things about audible is sometimes certain books will be read by the actual author so ed millette is actually reading his max out your life book to you which is a huge a plus in my opinion i feel like if you have ever listened to him speak you know his voice is very motivating and kind of gets the point across more than if i were just to be reading the hardcover book on my own i'm recording this audio as i'm like halfway through the book and you guys it's so good i highly highly recommend and audible has made it a great experience experience listening to it also if you're not a huge book person they do offer a ton of other things podcasts guided wellness programs theatrical performances a plus list comedy and exclusive audible originals that you literally can't find anywhere else so definitely check it out if, if you've always been someone who's like i'm not really into books which is how i felt definitely still check them out it takes like two seconds to download the app browse through their library and they have incredible stuff and i'm telling you audiobooks take it to a new level i swear i promise just try it out <laughs> take my advice recently audible also just launched their newest plan called audible plus which you get full access to their plus catalog which is filled with thousands and thousands of select originals audiobooks and podcasts including ad free versions of popular shows as well as exclusive series so definitely check that out if you're someone who doesn't love ads audible plus is for you with audible plus you can also even squeeze in a quick little workout class or guided meditation without even having to go to the gym which is amazing the main thing that i love with audible plus is that everything you want to listen to or could possibly listen to is all in one app so it truly is your playlist for life whatever you want to consume content wise whatever it may be audible plus is most likely to have it right now is the best time to try audible plus because they have a holiday offer, so you're getting the best offer of the year. So it's only $4.95 a month for your first six months, and after your first six months, it's still only $7.95 a month to download and stream thousands of all you can listen audiobooks, podcasts, originals included on the Audible Plus plan. If you guys want to check out Audible for yourself, which I highly recommend, you can visit audible.com slash ratkey or you can text ratkey to 500500 check them out i know you guys will not be disappointed just wrapped up the little walk stretch kind of situation my cardio slash activity for the day now i'm gonna have breakfast i normally Right when I wake up, just have a glass, big glass of ice water as you guys saw. And then sometimes I'll have a coffee, but I wasn't really feeling a coffee like right away this morning. All I've had is iced lemon water today and it's 10 o'clock. So I'm gonna make kind of a bigger breakfast than I normally would. And this will hold me over until lunch. Normally for breakfast, I've been liking just like smoothies, a coffee with like an English muffin and peanut butter. 
like really simple quick breakfasts since I have the time today to like make an actual yummy breakfast I'm going to so last night on Instagram I saw these breakfast tacos and I was like you know what I have like most of the stuff to make it, but I'm gonna like make it my own a little bit. So I'm gonna use country sausage. I get this from Costco, it's really, really good. I'm gonna use two eggs. We've got red onion, cilantro, green onion. We've got the tortillas. <laughs> that is for the tacos. And then I think that's really it. So what I think I'm gonna do is scramble the eggs. First I need to cook the sausage because it's frozen. There's this pan that I really want for Christmas. It's called Our Place, I think, and it's kind of like a pretty pricey pan, like a cooking pan, but everyone that I know that has it says nothing but good things about it. Okay, while that sausage is starting to cook, I'm going to whisk up my eggs. So scrambled, this is like cooking with Rachel. Um, scrambled eggs, I do two eggs. Then I'll do a splash of milk, just like a little bit, and then pepper. Also, my head is cut off in this whole entire clip, but I wanted you guys to be able to see the counter instead of me just like talking. Okay, so I'm gonna dice up some red onion. I just did that so poorly. I promise I'm normally a better cook than this. What's good about doing a breakfast taco is it's like, if you don't like everything that I put in it, you can always, it's super easy to switch out stuff, add stuff, things like that. Just assembled the taco. It was so easy and quick, you guys. Scrambled egg that I just showed you guys how I made. I diced up the sausage patty that I had. Diced red onion, cilantro, green onion, squeeze a lime, and salt and pepper. It took me probably not even 10 minutes, and it's so, looks so good. So, we're gonna try it. Oh, it's so good. Wow, it's like really good. Really, really good. I forgot how much I like breakfast burritos. I need to start making this more. One thing I would change is to put the Siete, like, healthier version tortillas. If you're trying to be, like, super healthy, I just don't have any i have the regular if i leave this door open you guys winnie will sit out there look she's sitting on my yoga mat just hanging out hey what are you doing what are you doing you're silly because you don't know <laughs> out of the shower i wanted to my skin is so incredibly dry it's unreal to show you kind of what i do most of the time i will shower at nighttime and then let my hair like air dry throughout the night but last night i didn't wash my hair and today i needed to wash my hair so we did a full full body shower today and um now i want to show you what i do when i get out of the shower so i'm starting off like using it without even telling you Starting off with the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. I'm using this as a moisturizer today because like I just said, my skin is incredibly dry, which is weird because I know it's like the colder months, but it's not technically like cold in Raleigh yet. So I don't know what's going on with the skin. Maybe it's because I was just at the beach, but I don't know. Apply that all over as a moisturizer. I put it on like pretty thick. And then I'm gonna use this Agave lip balm by bite beauty this is so good a subscriber actually sent this to me i want to say like two months ago as like a move-in gift it was so sweet and cute of her what i will do next is moisturize my body and what i use for that is i kind of do half and half of the body lotion and serum just dropped it half body lotion by necessaire and half serum by necessaire i will just pump a little squirt of each into my hand and rub it all over my body there is a bug flying around in these so i will do that i'm going to obviously do that off camera and then for hair prep i'm actually going to blow out my hair this morning because when i wash my hair it's very few so 
I like to style my hair so then it's good for a few days. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this, which I just recently started using when I got my hair done a few weeks ago, and it's the Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil Heat and UV Protector. Looks like this. The hairdresser suggested it to me because it's like a light oil for your hair, but it's also a heat protectant, so I really like that. So like a primer basically for your hair is what you can think of for it. So take this out. I normally just um, do the ends mostly because I have dry ends and then all around right here. I never spray directly on my root because when I brush through, I feel like it kind of gets on there. It also smells so good. But also let me know in the comments, you guys, if you want to see like a full get ready with me. I've been doing like my makeup and stuff differently these days and my hair and stuff. So let me know if you would be into that. I use the wet to dry brush to brush out all the tangles and then I just take a um, comb and I will part my hair like wherever it just like naturally falls. And normally I will uh, let my hair kind of just like air dry a little bit before I start blowing it out just because I want the heat on there for as least amount as possible. And if you start with soaking wet hair, it takes longer. So I'm in my comfy robe. I put it on every time I get out of the shower and every time I'm basically home just chilling around the apartment. It's by Barefoot Dreams. It's the best robe in the world and I highly, highly recommend. And I'm in a size two. They do size one, two, and three. So two is like a medium. I'm taller so I got a two but I probably could have done a one as well but I lounge around in this just so before I get ready I don't have to like dirty up another pair of clothes so robe life is the best I'm gonna apply this all over my body off camera and then kind of just maybe sit on the couch for a little check my phone I haven't really been on my phone much today I try not to like let it consume my mornings I am not someone who's like oh I don't check my phone in the morning like I definitely do it's hard for me not to but I definitely am not like oh my alarm went off roll over and start scrolling on Instagram like I get up do what I need to do if I want to check my phone for five minutes I'll get on it but I don't let it consume my mornings if that makes sense so I'm gonna put this on sit on the couch maybe light a candle let my hair air dry a little bit and then blow it out I want to show you guys what I do for my final steps of like an at-home blowout so I will take this Olaplex bonding oil looks like this and I will just do literally just like a few drops in my hair and I'll just run my fingers through I never like actually touch the root except these front pieces just because those get bleached a lot good in the ends and then I will take some hairspray. This is the Tresemme Extra Hold. And I just spray my roots like that. And take a comb and just run it down just so I don't have any flyaways, things like that. At home blowout, super easy. I'll link all the products that I just talked about, like getting ready and stuff down below if you guys want to check them out so i'm gonna get dressed something comfy casual nothing fancy i have to run to the grocery store really quick to get some stuff for dinner tonight uh, before i sit down on my computer and start like computer work for the day and then i'm gonna go get a coffee treat myself i feel like i didn't have a coffee earlier because i just secretly knew that when i went to the grocery store I was gonna get a Starbucks. 11 o'clock right now, so I guess it's like almost lunch, but I wanted to like end off the video showing you guys my coffee and stuff. I also have to go drop a package at FedEx from some Zara stuff that didn't end up working out. All right, picking out jewelry. I have been obsessed with this jewelry holder, you guys. I feel like it just makes me wear my jewelry more than if I were to have it all like stashed away. So I love that you can just like open this up and then here I have some more. 
then I keep all the bags so like whenever I travel I can store my jewelry but yeah I'm just a little a little bit obsessed with gold jewelry some days I will get a little bit more dressed up just because it makes me feel good things like that but today I think I'm just gonna choose to be comfy over anything so I think I'm gonna go with some like oversized joggers let's see like a cute little crop maybe okay blow this candle out this bye Winnie I'll be back okay do you want a treat before I leave every time I'm going to leave the house I always give her one of these like coffee another day another dollar holla <laughs> my coffee order i think i i'm gonna put it on the screen for you guys i wanted to go ahead and just end off today's video before i run into the grocery store i figured you guys don't really care about that and the morning is officially over it is noon so i hope that you guys all enjoyed my morning routine um updated morning routine let me know some of your staple things that you do every single morning and things that you love incorporating into your morning so i hope you all enjoyed again thank you audible for sponsoring today's video and i think that's all don't forget to subscribe follow me on instagram it's always linked down below and i will see you all in my next video bye guys